okay so we going to discuss about v net pairing uh, what is a v net pairing once again connection between two networks okay two devices or two network whatever it is okay so suppose if we want to connect uh, two virtual network okay so by default we know that whatever the we subnet we have in a same vnet so they can communicate right so they can communicate without any restriction okay so what i will do here i will create one more virtual network then i will create one subnet then i will create one virtual machine inside it okay so my uh, requirement is i want to communicate from this virtual machine to this virtual machine okay so by default that is not possible so for that we have to do some additional configuration that is called vnet pairing or so we can create a vpn connection between these two okay so that we going to discuss later so today we going to discuss about how we can create a vnet pairing okay virtual network pairing connection okay any doubts okay so first i will create a vnet and then i will assign ip address or network address at 10.0.0.0/24 uh, so here i will mention 10.0.1.0/24 and one more thing so whatever the cad range is mentioning over here uh, that should not be overlap right so this should be different from each other okay okay this should not be same understood okay so next i'll create a subnet over here uh, 10.0.0.0/24 i can give a 24 range because i only required one subnet right so same as i will create one subnet in my left side as well 10.0.0. sorry 1.0/24 okay uh, now i created two subnets right two subnet so i'll create one instance over here okay i'll create one instance over here then i'll try to communicate first okay so let me check so first i'll go to my azure portal so i'll create a vnet first vnet so go to vnet create a vnet yeah request i got so i'll select my resource group and i'll select my name so i'll provide vnet1 okay because we'll be have a vnet1 and vnet2 right so i can provide a vnet1 over here Okay. Then I will select I South select Central South US. US. Uh, then I will select my IP address and networking parts. Okay. So by default I have one subnet over here, and I want to change my IP network, right? So because of, uh, so they by default they are saying total sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six network ID, right? So I I just want to reduce this network into. 256 because we require two network right that's why starting v net pairing okay so i'll remove this network id then i will uh, change to 10.0.0.0/24 so this is my first v net right okay i'll come down i'll create a subnet over here subnet 1 so subnet 1 so then i will provide a uh, subnet range 10.0.0.0/24 Okay, successfully created. Uh, so next, I have to add this subnet over here. Then only we can uh, get rid of this error. Okay, let me click add. Okay, then uh, next security tags review plus create. So successfully a validation has been passed i'll create an instance yeah, vnet so let me create vnet2 as well so it's for vnet so we can do our same region vnet pairing and cross region vnet pairing so that we can do it and if you want to uh, if you want to connect between different account that also we can do it okay Uh, so next click create because we require two vnet connection so i'll create a vnet2 so in this scenario i'm going to create in the same region okay south central us so network ip address uh, so i'll create one subnet over here i'll, I'll remove this ip address range just click over here 10.0.1.0/24 so this is my second ip address so then i'll go to subnet 10.0.0. 1.0/24 you suppose to put name over there and ip address should be here the name is v subnet 2 then add then review plus create that's enough
so let it create first uh, once it uh, uh, valid uh, like success the validation then i will create okay successfully it's completed the validation it, it is going to create now okay so it will take a time so now i'll go to my uh, previous window here i will create a virtual machine okay so whatever the virtual machine i'm going to create on my first vnet and uh, that should be public and second vnet uh, virtual machine that should be private okay so the first virtual machine so this i will create with a public ip address for the second virtual machine i will create with a private ip address i, I do not record any public ip address okay so then i'll try to connect my first virtual machine by using my public ip address right i can connect my first virtual machine so then i'll try to connect my second virtual network sorry second virtual machine so before i'm connecting uh, so first i will remove all the virtual network peering so i'm not going to implement any virtual network peering first okay i'll try to connect my second virtual machine so by default i cannot do that because i don't have any connection in between right so then i will create or provision one virtual network peering so later i'll be able to access my instance in vnet okay so let me do the same I'll go to my uh, this window or this portal. Then I will create a virtual machine. VM. Yeah. Go to virtual machine. Create Azure virtual machine. Then create Azure virtual machine. That should be in the same region, South Central US. Select your resource group. You can put VM one. Then I'll select the authentication type is a password. Ashik. then next disk and networking so here we have to select the virtual network because we have a two virtual network right so i'll select my virtual network one and subnet one and we get a public ip address to connect to our virtual machine right okay then review plus create so that is only the mandatory information we have so now i'll go to my second portal and uh, so then i will create a virtual machine 2 over here vm virtual machine so create virtual machine so select your resource group so here i will put vm2 select the same region wherever you created a virtual machine sorry vnet come down i will select my authentication type as password enter your username and password Uh, then I'll uh, select net disk and networking parts. I will select my VNet2. Okay. So by default it will select VNet1. Then I will select VNet2. Okay. Select VNet2. Select your subnet2. So let it complete first. Okay. Subnet2. Then I will go with the public IP address. I will remove this public IP address. How to remove this public IP address? None. 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 So I'll click over here. Then I'll select none. Mm -hmm. I don't want any public IP address. Then I will review plus create. Default private account. In the public, public, public default they will associate a public IP address but we can remove even though okay peering connection is in the private connection so we can connect between two network by using azure private network okay so we not require any public IP address the purpose is we need to enhance the security so without a public IP address I need to access the network how we need peering or VPN gateway for VPN access, we can use it, right? So if it is uh, in the same uh, like uh, same account, for example, in Azure account, or if it is in the same AWS account, we can use peering connection. But if it is in a different account, for example, you want to connect your Azure account with on-premise, or AWS account with your Azure account. So th at that time, we have to use VPN, VPN. Okay, or if you want to connect your AWS account with your on-premise or Azure account with on-premise. Okay, we don't have any peering connection in between. So at that time, we have to use VPN gateway because my on-premise that is located in Mumbai and my uh, Azure uh, that is located in US or Central wherever it is. Okay, so I can only one on one option that is VPN, VPN gateway. Okay, so I'll create uh, this virtual machine. Okay, so let it create it first. AWS account in Azure is not Single sign. -in. Okay, so let it complete first, okay? So once it uh, complete the validation, then I will uh, create. Okay. Now it's creating, so then I'll try to log in my first VNet, then I'll try to access my second VNet. Okay, so without creating VNet, I'll try to access first. Let me go to virtual machine. Okay. It's 
not a created we have to wait a couple of minutes it will create ah then sara banana comments like then public ip work public ip indru ipa endrana connect idu vinet peru security purpose nodi idalle adayad enikku vaanu nadigal endiya idu connect cheyanda avashyam illa vinet enikku idu public ip address kodutha connect cheyavunnu undu enikku പക്ഷെ ഞാൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു അതിന് പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ഒഴിവാക്കി കാരണം അത് സെക്യൂർ ആക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് കാരണം പുറത്തുനിന്ന് ആർക്കും ആ വീനറ്റ് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യരുത് ആ നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യരുത് മനസ്സിലായത് അതേമാതിരി കൊടുത്ത് അതെ വേണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം രണ്ട് വീനറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് രണ്ട് വീനറ്റ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പബ്ലിക്കിൽ എനിക്ക് ആക്സസ് കൊടുക്കാവുന്നല്ലേ എനിക്കുള്ളൂ ആർക്കും ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പ്രശ്നമൊന്നുമില്ല പക്ഷെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും അവിടുത്തെല്ലാം ആക്സസ് ഒഴിവാക്കിയിട്ട് ഞാൻ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും ഇതിന് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യും അതിന് ഇന്റർനെറ്റീവ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇന്റർനെറ്റ് ഒന്നും ഉണ്ടാവില്ല ഇവിടുന്ന് അങ്ങോട്ട് മാത്രം ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ആ ഒരു ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ജംബോക്സ് പോലെ തന്നെ പക്ഷെ അത് രണ്ട് നെറ്റ്വർക്ക് ആയി തന്നെയുള്ള ഓക്കെ ജംബോക്സ് എന്തിനായിരുന്നു സെക്യൂരിറ്റി എൻഹാൻസ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് പുറത്തുനിന്ന് കണക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി ജംബോക്സിന് പുറത്തുനിന്ന് കണക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് പക്ഷെ ഒറ്റ സെർവറിൽ മാത്രമേ എന്തുള്ളൂ പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ഉണ്ടാവുള്ളൂ മറ്റേ സെർവറിന് പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ഉണ്ടാവില്ല മറ്റേത് നമ്മൾ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ക്രിട്ടിക്കൽ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എല്ലാം പ്രൈവറ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും ഓക്കെ സോ നോ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദാറ്റ് സക്സസ്ഫുള്ളി ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് വി എം വൺ ആൻഡ് വി എം ടു ആൻഡ് വി എം വൺ ഇസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് മൈ വി നെറ്റ് വൺ ആൻഡ് വി എം ടു ഇസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് വി നെറ്റ് ടു റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി എം വൺ യു ക്യാൻ സി ദർ ഹാവ് എ പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ആൻഡ് വി എം ടു ഐ ഡോൺ ഹാവ് എനി പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ഐ ഗോ ടു വി എം വൺ ദൻ ഐ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ട്രൈ ടു കണക്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ലെ മി കോപ്പി ദിസ് പബ്ലിക് ഐ പി അഡ്രസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഐ ക്യാൻ കോപ്പി ഫ്രം യു ദെൻ ഐ ഗോ ടു മൈ കമാൻഡ് പ്രോട്ട് ദെൻ എസ് എസ് എച്ച് ആഷിക് at the rate then public ip address then hit enter okay then i will put s i'll put my password as well at the rate one two three okay successfully i connected my vnet right vnet in the sense of vnet one and or virtual machine one right okay so now i'll try to connect my virtual machine two okay so how to connect virtual machine two ssh at the rate at the rate, at the rate. Now, I have to put a username then at the right private IP of my V V net 2 virtual machine okay what would be the possible private IP address of that virtual machine so the first one the zero will be as a network ah, the zero will be as a network then one will be gateway two and three DNS then four right then ten dot zero dot one dot Zero dot one dot four. four exactly so let me check uh, whether it's a okay let me check whether it is a right or wrong i'll go to my uh, v, vm2 so you'll be able to find the private ip address over you mm-hmm. see 10.0.1.4 dot dot if you're creating second virtual machine automatically they will allocate 10.0.1.5 dot 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 exactly okay So now I'll try to connect this virtual machine. I'll go to my uh, terminal again. Hit enter. Okay. I'm not getting any uh, like response, right? I'm not getting any response. So here you can see that successfully I tried to connect my uh, virtual machine. But actually I'm not getting any response. In this sense, there is no connection between my VNet1 and VNet2. okay so next i'll go to my uh, vnet1 then i will try to create a vnet peering so with my vnet2 okay so later i can try i can connect my uh, vnet2 from vnet1 okay let me do that see still i am not getting any uh, response from vnet2 or vm2 okay connect okay. vm vm1 okay. vm1 okay so now i'll go to my uh, virtual it will still network one for that we have to uh, search vnet1 okay so i'll select this vnet1 okay then uh, here we have an option peering connection so did you find peering connection over here will be have an option peering connection the dot dns peering da dns are going away ഡിഫോൾ <laughs> traffic forward from virtual network allow default you no need to change it, change and all okay 
then virtual network gateway router okay we'll keep it as a default remote virtual network what is my vnet2 name vnet2 huh? okay i'll put vnet2 to vnet1 so I'll, I'll just give this name come down then i have to select my vnet2 name what is my vnet2 name what is my vnet2 name vnet2 so i have to select vnet2 right so i already selected my vnet1 that you can see over here and now i have to select my vnet2 okay so come down then click add so it's creating two pairing uh, one for vnet1 another for vnet2 okay so successfully created so now let's go to our terminal again i'll try to connect okay see previously we were getting an error sss connect to host 10.0.1.4 port connection timed out so i'll execute the same command once again so now i'm able to access yes. right i will hit enter yes so password ashik ashik at the rate 123 so successfully i connected with my vnet2 see vm2 so previously i was in vm1 so now i am in a vm2 it's quite simple so the connection between two virtual network okay so either i can go with the uh, v, v, uh, vpn as well so if you want to connect between two vnet okay so we can connect vpn as well okay so first we need to create a gateway a network the problem is uh, if you using vnet so the communication will be happen through private network okay mm -hmm. through azure backbone network okay but if you using vnet or oh, sorry vpn connection then the communication is happening through internet but it is encrypted through ipsec algorithms ipsec ssl and ssl and protocol and it is encrypted mm -hmm. okay any doubts hmm i need to tell you what i'm doing here i'm doing the vnet and i'm doing the vnet